uh, Yuki Tsunoda. Mm. How do we feel about that? Are you are you two? <clears throat> are you two? Are you for or against the punishment? Let's talk about what happened first of all. Yeah. Actually, so Tsunoda uh, on lap uh, fifty six, it says in my notes, he pushed Zhou Guanyu off mm. the track, turn one, um, and he received a five second penalty for it which actually put him down to P12. He was going to be P9, but he was pushed out of the points by this punishment. Did you see his face afterwards? Don't. It's heartbreaking. Um, see, I don't want to say it, but I agree with the penalty. I. My heart just sank. I know, I know. Me too. I hate myself a little bit. <laughs> so, I, I've, God, he's having real bad luck. Yeah. He really, really is. And I really feel for him, but I do think he needed to get that penalty. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it makes sense. It it does make sense. But, well, I had a process because I like Yuki <laughs> Sonoda. I think he's a really reliable, good, he's becoming a really mature driver as well. Mm. The first angle I saw, it looked like it was a penalty really out in the blue. I didn't. I yeah. didn't agree with the penalty. Yeah. Um, it looked from what I saw this first angle. He turned the corner. Zhu Guanyu was on the outside, and it all. It was almost like Zhou was being a bit too defensive, yeah. and he left the track way before it was really necessary. And it looked as though if he'd stayed in it, then it would have pushed Zhou. Sorry, would have pushed Yuki wider on the next corner. But he would have stayed on the track because yeah. you know, I think when from this first angle when Joe went off, it did look like there was actually quite a bit of track left for him to stay on. But the second the second angle I saw from um, I think it was actually from Yuki's camera on the yeah. halo. Yeah, that looked a little closer. Yeah, and because I actually tweeted about this, Alex does F one. Craft. Here we go. Shameless. Shameless. <laughs> um, and I mean, it it got almost a. I can't remember what I got, like 500 likes. It was yeah, ridiculous. Okay. It's my first big hit tweet. It was insanely great. I haven't stopped, I haven't stopped talking about it. Yeah. But um, I'm actually not so sure I believe what I tweeted anymore, <laughs> nicking at that second angle. <laughs> I am a fraud. But you're never going to delete it. Oh, no. <laughs> so really like the it. engagement was ridiculous. I feel like you've been on a real journey with this. I have. I'm writing in your diary. Well, I bought the blue tick. Guys, I bought the blue tick. If you believe in blue shakes, let me. about going on this journey with Yuki Tsunoda's penalty. We're not talking oh, about I've this. Oh, I've been on a Twitter jet. <laughs> oh, I bought the blue tick in my, my organic reach. Organic? I paid for it. It's it going through so the organic. roof. But um, yeah. let me know below if you now hate me. Um, <sighs> Shall we get back to Yuki Tsunoda? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Think, I'm kind of processing it. I, I, I'm still in two minds, but people compared it to Latifi. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, I wasn't Latifi. <laughs> It was a Mazepin. It was a Mazepin. Oh, really? It was a Mazepin, yeah. And actually, because he got a, a punishment for a similar thing and it looked almost identical. So, um, you know, I... I... I'm the same. When it first happened, I was like, wait, what? And then I saw a replay and I was like, no, I do think he should have got that. Yeah. But then the only other thing where I'm like... Well, Esteban Ocon on Fernando Alonso. I knew this was going to come up. And I was just... Mainly because it says in our notes. Like it. There was no penalty there. Lewis and George... Well, George on Lewis. You know, can we just talk about what actually happened between Alonso and Ocon? <laughs> uh, Alonso was on the offensive. Yeah. Ocon was defending. And so, if you didn't know, coming up to a corner, you're allowed to make one defensive move. You cannot make two defensive moves. Yes. Or three. Or four. Or, you know, whatever. You place yourself on the track. And you've got to do it within a safe distance. Mm -hmm. But Alonso is literally going for the OSA and Esteban. And no, Esti, Besti, yeah. <laughs> he pushes Alonso all the way over to the pit. I agree. And it's, I mean, oh. Alonso, well done for driving around that. I but oh, I mean, it's not the first time these, these guys have clashed as well. No. Um, but yeah, I mean, crazy. And I can't believe he, Esteban wasn't punished for that. No. The Driven Mad Podcast by Alex Harrington and Lydia Mee, in partnership with Sports Illustrated. Every Tuesday on SI.com, YouTube, and your favourite podcast provider.